Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon two-door. This is stock number 24J166. I'm here at Summit Automotive. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video on this Jeep Wrangler. This has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon on the highway 16 city for an average of 18 miles per gallon. It has 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. Also gonna go over all the things that are new for 2024 on this, on this particular Jeep Wrangler. So let's get right into it. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate that. Get, uh, click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest Wrangler walk-around video catalogs on YouTube. So 2024, they made the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights standard on the Rubicon package, as well as the Sahara. And it's an option on the Sport S and Sport package. Uh, so LED fog lamps, running lights, and headlights there. They've also redesigned this grill. It's a little bit narrower. It's actually, it used to be as big as that black piece. What they did is they added this black piece, shrunk the grill, painted part a little bit, and uh, just gives it a little sleeker look there. This one has the granite crystal headlight bezels as well as the seven slotted grill outlines there. You get the sport hood on this one. This one has the plastic fenders and bumpers. The red toe hooks part of that Rubicon package. You're gonna get BF Goodrich all-terrain TA KO2 tires. These are LT285 70R17s and it comes with the satin black painted alloy wheels with the uh, machine finished lips on there. Definitely an all-terrain tread pattern on there as well. You get the Rubicon decals on the hood. If you didn't like those, you could take those off. New for 2024, there is no more metal antenna. They got rid of it. They replaced it with this trail rated badge because the antennas are all now in the windshield and all of these windshields on the Rubicons and Sport S's and um, Sahara's and Rubicon X, of course, the 392, as well are all the Gorilla Glass. The Rubicon package gives you the rock rails right there, and you get the T50 on the doors to take these doors off. We did a demo on how to take your doors off your jail. Very popular video, linked in the description below and in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Get four-wheel disc brakes on all of the Wranglers. This one has the black hard top three-piece hard top, the LED tail lamps as well. So it does have a towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring, and you get the red tow hook back here as well. Matching spare tire and wheel. Take a quick look at the back here. You get the case for the front hard top pieces. The seats fold down and then they fold up for better storage and you can remove these. We did a demo on how to take those seats out. If you wanna check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. And then it has the three piece hard top. This back hard top piece does come off. There's three bolts on the bottom, one on the top and uh, so eight total and then two quick disconnects. We did a demo on how to take your hard top off of your two door Wrangler as well. This one also has the all weather subwoofer in it so it has the alpine premium sound system you lose a little bit of storage with that subwoofer but you also have areas for door hinge roof and windshield bolt holders there as well and then these seats come down like so grab the strap and pull it up and you're all set to go one little easter egg here you get these seven slots on the rear gate and then it does come with the jl badge all these Wranglers have this JL badge, two-door, four-door wheelbase and overall length and water fording as well as where it's developed and built in. These doors are a lot lighter than the old JKs. They shut nice and smoothly. You get the black fuel door cap on there. That looks really good. Let me know what you think of this color scheme in the comments below. Sarge green, really popular color from what I have seen on the Wranglers. This one has the heated power mirror power mirrors. Also has the enter and go system. You just have to have the key fob in your pocket, put your hand in there, and it'll automatically unlock. Inside the Rubicon package, it says it's black. I think it looks more charcoal, and we're going to get to that window sticker in just a second. 
Uh, you get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest and down the sides of the seat. Driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, new for 2024, is this little badge here with the Gladiator and Wrangler back-to-back. -back. Power mirrors, power locks. Uh, you get this kind of Gore-Tex material on the dash. This is new for 2024 in this red um, piece right there. The other thing for 2024 as we hop inside the vehicle is that the leather has changed just slightly on the steering wheels. It's more of a soft touch leather. It's a little bit stiffer, but it's, it's very smooth. And, uh, really nice leather on there. Cruise control, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls. The instrument cluster is the same from 2023. Seven inch LCD display, Rubicon animation at the beginning there. You get a digital speedometer and all that good stuff. And uh, the next thing that is new for 2024 is this 12.3 Uconnect 5 touchscreen radio. So this one is a wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. This one also has the factory navigation system on it. And this is the Uconnect 5, and this is supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4 system. So that is new. And of course, with this new radio, they had to change the layout of the, da of the dash. So you get these vents on the bottom here. They used to be circle vents on the side of the 8.4 or the 7-inch radio or whichever one you had. But now they have this wide radio. And this is the standard radio all the way from the Sport to the Rubicon X to the Rubicon 392. Exact same radio. The only difference is if it has nav or not. Uh, then you get all your different apps on here. I'm not going to go through everything, but I will just show you what they are. A lot of this stuff is just linking to other parts of the radio. Uh, you get off-road pages, your backup cam, uh, which are which is pretty nice. They made those HD, so they're crystal clear. You have the front camera on this one, the trail cam. Those lines are dynamic, meaning that they turn as I turn the steering wheel, and it kind of gives you an idea of where your tires are going to be in the future. So if you are doing a lot of off-roading, you want to make sure you're not going to hit that rock, or maybe you want to hit the rock at a certain angle. Uh, this would help you get lined right up with that, or whatever may be in your path. We'll check out the off-road pages in just a second. You get your system and then your other here and then the off-road pages uh, steering angle you can see as i turn the steering wheel that angle changes the wheels actually up top change as well on the display sway bar if it's connected or disconnected front axle if it's locked or unlocked same thing with the rear axle latitude longitude altitude on there you get your accessory gauges pitch and roll and then of course you can go back to that front camera the other thing that has changed on the dash is this piece up here used to be just one kind of like holder and now that's two just so it's a little bit more symmetrical i think another little easter egg that we have is the seven slots right above the mirror that's kind of neat uh everything below this is a carryover from 2023 so nothing new there uh he this one has heated seats heated steering wheel start stop capability stability control and i did forget to mention this one has am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities on it as well as Bluetooth and um, Alexa on there as well. Down here is a USB, USB-C, and AUX jack. Speed select crawl control down here. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You get off-road plus mode, sway bar disconnect, front and rear locking axles, and uh, that's what makes a Rubicon special for that package. Um, four auxiliary ups, upfit switches, part of the tow package, four by four shifter, your eight speed automatic transmission it does have a Jeep on the top there. Get the same keys as before with the flipper key, remote start on there as well. Nice chunky key fob. Always know which key you have in your, have in your pocket. You get that Gore-Tex finish on the dash there as well. Uh, the other thing that is new for 2024, and this is a big deal, this is a safety issue. They put side curtain airbag standard on the 2024 Wranglers. So great job, Jeep. Uh, there's that front hard top pieces. This piece comes off. This piece comes off. Uh, assistant SOS buttons, auto dimming mirror, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. And you could get the Gorilla Glass before on the Wranglers, but it was an option. Now on the Rubicons and Saharas and Sport S's, it's standard. So, um, just one thing that's new for 2024 there. And then your map lights have changed. They used to be a big square right here, and now they're kind of separated, and the speakers are in different positions. I'm sure that's all because of that 
of those side curtain airbags that they put in here. So that's really all that's new on the interior of the vehicle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the lights and we'll do a final walk around on this Wrangler right after I take a look at the original window sticker because I did promise that I would go through that. It's going to be linked in the description below this window sticker. There'll be a link to it um, on our website. So feel free to click that or you can check it out right here. 2024 Wrangler two-door Rubicon uh, 36 V6 eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything is your standard equipment on the left-hand side here, including the Uconnect 5 12.3-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto, Sirius XM, eight speakers, and then your optional equipment starts with the Sarge Green Clear Coat 595 Convenience Group, which gives you the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start is 1995. Technology group is $22.95, which gives you the Alpine premium sound system with that subwoofer, HD radio, GPS navigation, connected travel and traffic services, you connect 5 nav with the 12.3 touchscreen, integrated voice command, and integrated off-road camera. Eight-speed automatic transmissions, $4,500, and the black three-piece three hardtop is $16.95. Those wheels are a $1,095 option. And your total MSRP is $60,865. To get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives and, uh, you know, things you may qualify for, in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website, also linked in the description below. 3-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, 5-year 60 powertrain. There's the miles per gallon and not really rated for a lot of safety ratings. Except rollover. All right, as promised, let's do a final walk around. I'm going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio here so you can see just how bright these lights are. Give me one second. So you can see just how bright those lights are. And this is about as dark as it's ever going to get in the picture studio. Our detail department, which is right behind here, is uh, all the lights are completely off in there. So this is as dark as this room is going to get. And uh, you can see just how bright those lights are. They go out very nice and wide, um, nice bright white uh, color to them. Really like the uh, LED light group on the Wranglers now, especially now that they're standard. You get the LED tail lamps, they look really good as well and very distinctive shape to those. You also get the LED license plate light. All right, so that is everything with this particular Jeep Wrangler two-door Rubicon in Sarge Green clear coat. Let me know what you think of the color and options on this one in the description below. Let me know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what was your favorite part of the video, and uh, I can always work on making my videos better for all the viewers out there. And if you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, and it's the best way to stay current on our ever-changing and vast inventory here at Summit Automotive. Lots and lots of Jeeps on our lot, new and used. Videos go up every day. When they go up, they're here, they're live. So definitely click the bell notifications. You'll get updated every time I do videos. And to see more pictures, or if you want to subscribe, in the upper left-hand part of the screen is a link to subscribe to the YouTube channel, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done. In the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.